Oh, yeah, yeah. There's nothing like chilling with my girls. Just me and my divas taking over the world. What's up, D Buzz? What's up, D Buzz? What's up, D Buzz? What's up, you guys? What's up? So today we are going to slay, or at least I hope we're gonna slay. Cause girl, listen, I have look, I had to take like a breather for this one because girl, I'm trying to make this wig look as different as possible. You know, like I don't want it to look like these other two wigs that I done did. But the color is just a solid color. But it's still the same wig. Yes. Dora hair or Dora hair. I really want to call this wig Dora hair. But they sent me this wig. Cute pixie wig cut. You know, this style is so in. But I have actually reviewed the same wig twice in a highlighted color. One was a teapot and one was like a 13 by 4. It's really cute. Like you could just rock it like this. But it's a solid color, which is great. But I really got to, like, switch it up. I want to change it up. And I'm just like, girl, I got my water. Like, that's really supposed to do. It's going to keep me hydrated because I'm going to need to be hydrated. Got my Batman shirt on because, look, I might need to use my superhero powers just so that way I can get through this wig tutorial and hope for the best while I'm doing my thing or at least trying to do my thing. So I was at the beauty supply store the other day getting a couple of things, y'all, and I ran into this at the counter, this Even Wonder Lace Bond hairspray. I have seen like two videos showcasing this product. I'm like, okay, I'm going to try it out. I wasn't about to pay like $20 on Amazon when I seen it. I was not about to pay that. Little can right here was $3.99, $4. You know, I trust Even. I have even got their tinted lace spray right here with me. I trust Even New York. They do have some really good products. So I've heard good things about this twice in two videos. So we're going to see how it worked out for me. I'm not really sure. You know, I always have my standbys on hand. You know, my oldie but goodies favorites. Look, if it ain't broke, then why you want to fix it? The wig is cute. I like the way it looks. I love the curl pattern in it. It's a really nice lace frontal. The lace color, I, I'm even kind of like, you know, I'm not really sure if I'm on the fence about the lace color or if I'm right there with it. I, I can't really tell y'all right now because, you know, sometimes looks are deceiving, honey. From the looks of it, the tone of it, I want to I wanna feel like it's going to work out for me. I did go ahead and take the liberty of bleaching the knots in this unit. And I did pre-pluck it. And then I rewashed it. And I, I even sewed in this elastic. Well, today, girl, we're going to envision nothing but good vibes. We're going to get into this video. I'm going to show you how your wig comes from door hair. And then we're just going to jump right into this video. I don't know about you, but you make me crazy. Never got your name. You got me begging I don't know about you You like to pick and choose uh. Make it all about you Go take it all if you want Taking the chance Sucking my hand Not gonna leave it at that Taking the lead Feeling your heat Just wanna give you my Give you my best I don't even know your name But you got me Cause you're old to die We don't know what happens next But you got me Cause I'm next to love pimple she is out today and says hey y'all okay out today excuse my pimple but you know i just want to take this this wig to a different look just i i said whole level a whole different level i don't know about all that 
But you girl, look, I had to come through prepared. So let's just hope for the best. I wanted to cut it on the sides a little bit shorter. I mean, I, you know, listen, I, I said I wanted to take it, make it look a little bit different. I didn't say I wanted to give it a whole new, I didn't, I wanted to make a whole new wig. So, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so I want to take it, like make it a little bit shorter, like, like over on this side. So it's kind of like uneven. That's what I envisioned. Okay. That's what I envisioned. All right, guys, we're going to do this. We're going to at least try to do this. I'm going to cut this side shorter. So I went ahead and put the clip in the hair. That's the number one key thing. Make sure y'all have some clips and good tools when you style on your hair so that way it's easier. So this is where I'm going to cut it. And I'm look, I'm just going in. Okay, I went ahead and took my cutting scissors, my hair cutting scissors, and just went in. And then to spice it all up, girl, you gotta have some water. So this is just water with conditioner in it. It's going to moisten the hair, but it's also going to help it curly. Thank God this hair is curly. But you know, I was really trying to do something different. Now, on this particular side, I'm just going to go ahead and customize the wig because it is overlapping my ear some. So I'm going to make parts on the side right above my ear so that way the wig could fit a lot more comfortable. And now, before I cut the sides, I'm just going to go ahead and cut the lace um, in three sections. That makes it easier to cut the sides instead of the, lift, the lace being so stiff and all in one. It'll make it allow the lace to move around a lot easier. So as you guys see right here is where I made that part and I'm just going to go ahead and take my uh, scissors and these are snipping thread or thread snips. Um, these are for sewing but I love them for the lace. They make a lot of my units a lot easier to style and cut. So I just cut right onto the part that I've created and this will definitely not destroy the wig. It will help the wig lay flatter and more comfortable. And then I'll go ahead in and just cut the lace. So as I was saying the lace I wasn't really too sure about. I was kind of on the fence. But the lace is turning out to be pretty decent, okay? And now, you know, girl needs some curly hair, uh, sideburns, and curly hair baby hairs. Look, when the hair is curly like this and short, girl, you got to jazz it up. But this is my thing. You don't have to. If you don't want to, it's optional. But that's what I'm going to do here. And I'm definitely not going to use all the baby hairs, but I'm just going to customize them. So I'm just going to cut them. But first, I'm going to go ahead and use this hairspray just so that the wig could lay down in place. So on the sides, I always spray underneath and on top. And right there, dead smack in the middle, I only spray on the top. I don't really need it that strong in the middle, but definitely where the sideburns or the edges are at, you definitely need it a good, you know, hold. It's up to you if you wanna use hairspray. I'm trying this out for the first time, okay? I did see this um, in a couple of videos and I wanted to give it a try. It does adhere pretty quickly, but the one thing that I don't like about the hairspray is that it gets like this really sticky, gluey kind of kind of feel to it. If you, um, it's what I noticed. You know, I feel I, I saw a lot of the white residue, and it, it gets really tacky. And I guess that's a good thing, depending on you know how long you want to wear it. But I did see like a residue of stickiness, which was kind of easy to remove. I just took the toothbrush and just uh, brushed it away. And that was on this particular side right here that I noticed that. But as you guys see, the lace does go um, pretty well. It blends in, it's meltable, you know what I mean? Uh, I would advise you if you don't have a blow dryer to dry your product, don't go ham like I did, just, um, just do it in sections. And you see a little bit of the whiteness, you might not can see it really well because the blow dryer is in the way for you guys to see that portion. But it definitely is there and I will uh, kind of like get it off with the brush. You can see it's like on the tip of my comb and there you have it. That's from the hairspray, but it's easy to brush away if you're not too concerned about it. You can easily brush it away, um, but it does give a good hold. But um, I know I'm not up to that part yet, but I just want to say this, that, you know, I do love to use my favorite styling mousse, which is from the Dollar Tree. It's the Salon Selectives. And I use that styling mousse on all of my units, even after I have applied uh, the hairspray. My choice I use, it, it doesn't lift the hair. But I did notice with this particular, even New York hairspray, once I started applying this um, hairstyling mousse, it kind of lifted the wig and I was not too happy about that. So I did have to respray in certain areas off camera. That was not like a big, like I wasn't too happy about that. 
so um to be honest this is not like my go-to hairspray i really am not like a huge fan of it especially because it lifts the lace up or the lace is lifted by just a simple hair uh, dollar tree product i use that same dollar tree product on all my units and you guys know that so and i trust it it never lifts but i'm not really sure about this hairspray so you know i wasn't too pleased with that i didn't show me respraying it on camera but girl i did use my got to be in the pink can on camera off camera uh, well not off camera i just you know decided to edit it out because the video was already long but i did um cut that part out i did use the got to be hairspray because the wig was not sticking down with the even so you know you have to keep that in mind if you are done adhering you don't want no baby hairs or nothing girl then it's good but this is how it came out she is rather cute honey okay listen what what now, i'm still gonna chop away a little bit but you know i think i did a damn good job for it to come out like this i, I really prefer the hair though to be super duper wet not, excuse me not super duper wet but i do prefer the hair to be washed versus spritzing water because this curl definition is much better once you shampoo and condition the whole entire wig like honey the curls are so much more juicier but because you know i was cutting and stuff i was only able to use the water now i decided to pick this gel up from the beauty supply store because i wanted to see if this would be any different versus the other eco styling gel um i don't really you know it kind of all holds the same to me it doesn't give me like a really strong hold for like ponytails and slick back hairstyles but i'll take it for this wig because it did work pretty good and i think the wig came out gorgeous you guys can be the judge of it i love it when it's short short like this and girl yes make it short short make it curly honeys yes super duper cute hope you guys enjoyed this video i know it was a little bit long but listen, I had to take a woosah. Batman powers for this one because you know once you cut it, honey, it ain't growing back. Especially because it's not growing out of your scalp, girl. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it and let me just get through this. This is a whole look, girl. Yes! I am loving this. The way it came out is so cute, honey. It's cute. Like, I, I did a damn good job with cutting the sides. Like, I did it in a slant just to make sure that the back would meet up some type of way with this part. And it came out cute, okay? I like short, short hair. And even though, you know, it was like a pixie cut, I love when they make lace wigs like this that are really, really like, you know, curly girl hair friendly. Like, honey, yeah. Like, I was so scared that I was going to mess it up because, you know, once you cut the hair off, it's over. There's nothing you can do unless it's grown from your scalp, honey. And that's when it'll grow back over time. You still gotta walk around looking crazy, but girl, they look so much better when you wash them. The curls come out so much more juicier versus like stringy like this. When you wash them, the curls are so big and thick and juicy. So that's the one thing I do like about this lace. So I love you all. Make sure you rate, comment, subscribe, thumbs the video up. Girl, holla at your girl, holla at your diva. And I'ma see y'all on the next video to come. Bye.